All right, welcome to another cloud login dev playmaker integration demo. Uh, in the last part, we set up the um, registration, we set up the login. Now let's take a look at what other things that we could potentially be adding to our game. So here's just the demo game that I have set up. I currently don't have any users added and I don't have any store items. Let's focus on the users in this uh, part of the series. All right, so I don't have any users here. Yes, you have the ability to add one manually, but that's not really a great option um, because most of the times your users are gonna be adding themselves through the game. All right, so I already have register and logging in all set up, but let's take a look at what we can do on top of that. And um, let's take a look at my character select canvas that I have in my demo. And so what I'm doing here in my character select is I'm creating probably one of the most powerful parts of cloud login dev. And that is a attributes and that's adding an attribute. And so what I've done is again, a lot of my FSMs are all on this first canvas here and you can just select through all of them. So on this character select one, literally an attribute can be anything that you want it to be. Um, cloud login dev already has something set up for, um, for currency and has something set up for store. Um, so let's take a look at um, an attribute because that's one of the most powerful things that you can do with cloud login.dev because it can be anything. So here what I'm doing is my attribute that I'm gonna be setting to my player is either cat or dog. And the action that I have to allow you to do that is just called cloud login dev set player attribute. And what you need is an attribute type what you don't set on the cloud login dev dashboard, you do it through your app. Um, so you, you can have as many attributes as you want, but then you just need to have a value. It might be worthwhile to set your attribute types as a variable. That way you don't accidentally put a typo or something in it and you can just always grab it. Um, maybe set it as a global variable even. Um, but for this, we just have character is dog, or if we go over to the other part of this FSM, we have character is cat. So it's a very simple FSM here where we just wait for the player to click on the cat or the dog button. And then based on the button we pick, we're setting an attribute. So let's uh, turn off the character selection and let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. All right, so here I am, the game is running and I'm gonna go to register because I don't have any users yet in the game. And we're gonna set my email, which I believe is googlyeyesgames at gmail.com. And we're just gonna create my username, Philip, and let's create a password. All right, so now that my user's registered, all I did on my registration um, page is character select, let's see, register new user, is that once the user was successfully registered, okay, so here's the cloud login dev sign up, to blur that out because in the FSMs it is going to show the text in plain text, but it's not stored in plain text um, in cloud login and okay? it's got the normal type of security stuff you'd have or if it's hashed, you don't have to worry about that. Um, so if it's success, it's going to move to the success state, and if it fails, it's going to move to a failure state and hopefully post an error message. All right, so in success state, it's going to um, activate my character select, which is what we're seeing now, and then it's going to deactivate my registration panel. Um, which has been deactivated. That was the one where I actually registered my character. All right, so here I am. I can choose if I want to be a cat or a dog. I am going to choose dog. But here is the game that I registered to. And you can see I am in um, user Philip that I just created. And now you can see in my attributes, I have a character key and my value is set as 20. So that's a real easy way you can set attributes for your characters. It could be any number of things. It could be player level, weapon that they're carrying, uh, uh, a faction they're part of, anything. So get in there, try it out, cloudlogin.dev, and try out my Playmaker integration from mrphilipjoel.itch.io. In the next part, we'll take a look at adding some currency to the player.